What's up guys? Today <clears throat> we're going to be doing a review on this WL Toys, I believe, SG1603. Um, heard some pretty sweet things about it. Um, super excited to get into it. Been waiting on it for quite some time, really. Probably a couple weeks now. Uh, shipping's pretty messed up. Um, I did initially have another review or actually a build series to do on an SCX24, which is still coming. Um, we should be patient with shipping on that one. I believe it's gonna be another week or so, but for now, we have this. Plenty of things to do with this, so let's get into it. Let's do a little review on this, see what we got here. Trusty Dusty. Steak knife. Gotta love steak knives. You know, you do everything you need. Got your food, got your boxes. Whatever it is. driven one of these once before. A buddy of mine, a really close friend of mine, has one. It is super fun to drive. Cannot wait to get it out and get to rip it on it. It does come with two sets of wheels and tires, which you'll get to. Steak knife. Telling you, man, steak knives, where to go? All right. Oh, dude, that feels super clean. All right, gotta continue, gotta continue. Can't get off track. This comes with their standard receiver. Spare parts. I opted to get the three battery version. It with uh, comes with supposedly comes with three batteries, charger, everything you need, and the upgraded extra parts. I'm not gonna say upgraded, but it comes with extra parts, extra wheels, extra tires, tie rods, I believe. Let's get in here and see. All right. That is unfortunate. No batteries. Unless there's one or two in here. All right. There's the charger. Oh, it's a basic USB charger. Um, yeah, basically you get a USB port there. Set that there. Tools. Gotta love miniature hopper grade RC tools. Really great up the fingers. That was a joke. And these, these are the drift tires. Let you take a look at those. Super smooth, plastic. Um, they do super well on carpet, uh, concrete. I'm gonna leave those off for now because I'm probably gonna do a rip outside on my deck, which is wood. It's kind of grooved, so I don't know if I should rip the. I don't know. We'll see. We'll get there. All right, let's get this body off and see what we're looking at here. Also, I'm filming in my computer room currently. I'm going to, as the seasons change, when we get into the spring and summer, I'm gonna move off to my shop. Right now it's freezing cold. It's like 19 degrees outside. I do not have heat out there. So that'll be a hard negative for me. So for now, the next couple of videos are gonna be inside. All right, looky there. Got our lights hooked up here. Look at that, super clean. Comes with a brush motor. I want the brushed option. A uh, really good friend of mine, like I said, he has one and he's had it for quite some time. He runs the brush motor and it's super controllable. 
um, which is what you want in drifting. You really want something that's able to be controlled. Um, but for less than a hundred bucks, man, I mean, look at that. That's super quality, in my opinion. Um, I mean, the shock towers, the shocks, they're not oil field shocks, but I mean, man, they just feel super solid. They feel really well. Um, for this initial, I'm gonna be driving it completely stock. Um, we are gonna be upgrading the, the brush motor to get the, uh, the bigger brush motor option. Uh, we're gonna do all aluminum, all aluminum control arms, uh, aluminum shock towers. Uh, probably gonna upgrade the shocks too. That's probably all I'm gonna do, guys. I mean, this thing is pretty set up completely stock. Um, but yeah, I mean, take a look at it, guys. I mean, it's hard to get it in a video, but feeling it, it feels super quality. Um, I mean, this skid plate, man, I mean, that is just, that's awesome. So, let's see if we can get this thing powered up here. find the on button you know not me i hope there it is there she is there she is no i lied that's not it we'll find it momentarily Flashing because they're not quite connected to a control yet. Oh my goodness. Four AA batteries. Got an idea. We are going to rob the e Revo batteries. How does that sound? Never mind. RC guy with no batteries. Classic. Concerns me a little bit. Servos, um, like the tracks of servo. That's one thing we're gonna see in a video coming up soon. We'll do some upgrades in the E-Revo 2.0 that I have. Um, yeah, that definitely needs to be adjusted for sure. Uh, let's see. Get that straightened up there. The servo could definitely use to be upgraded. You know, a little more high torque. Um, I'll do a little more adjusting on that. Do a little steering lock. Yeah, that's gonna be adjusted. I'm not change out servos. I want something a little more. But it's not bad. Again, for less than $100, the thing is, I think it's phenomenal quality. I really, really do. I can understand why everybody's raving about this thing. It's four wheel drive, too, guys. Four wheel drive, drift truck, miniature infraction. I mean, obviously it's not the infraction. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying it's the quality of an infraction, but you know, infraction's expensive. This thing, less than a hundred bucks. All right. I know, man, it's, it's just, that's the only thing I could probably have a complaint about. And it's not really a complaint. I would just, I want to upgrade it. You know, you guys are going to seek this channel. I'm probably going to upgrade most everything that we get here. And um, so, yeah. Let's see this. You guys, I know you guys want to hear it. We're going to take it for a rip. Also, another cool feature. Different lights. I know that's pretty awesome. Off. Just the white basic lights. Running lights. The red just the red by themselves. Now that's pretty, that's pretty mean. It's pretty awesome. 
I like the ball. It's pretty sweet. Actually, there we go. That's pretty awesome, guys. I really like it. I'm pretty stoked to have it. Um, gonna do some tinkering with it. Uh, like I said, full full aluminum control arm shock towers, front and rear. Um, probably won't do anything with the wheels and tires. Not for now, at least. Um, I would like to get a different body eventually. Um, I don't know what the options are out there. I'm about to do something custom, which is going to be completely doable. Um, but yeah, this is the SG1603, guys. Hope you guys really like it. Um, and the shocks, man, those are just pretty sweet. I like it. It would be cool to lower it a little bit, maybe. I don't know. There's so many options to do. Just got it. Gotta love it. Let the bead roll these out. A buddy of mine, like I said, he also he bead rolled his, so that's pretty it's pretty sweet. But uh let's go do it. Let's go get some rips on it, you know? What do you think? Do some rips. Well, after further inspection, battery is nearly dead. So we're gonna do. We're getting charged up. We're also gonna change these tires out, tires and wheels out. Definitely made the executive decision there. Gonna change the tiles where though. But time being, let's get this thing plugged in and get it charging. So that way I can give you guys some sort of idea on how it runs. Um, Video is gonna do it justice. I know that, but you guys have some sort of idea. Might be convincing you guys to go out and grab you one of these things. These things are awesome. They really are. I can't wait to get it out and run it to its full potential. I just set it down on the carpet a second ago to get it, get some sort of feel for it. And I realized batteries are dead. Not dead, but not in good standing. They really were not. And I know it's got more power than that, so. Tires are changed. Battery is charging. Um, not a whole lot I can do, clearly, with no battery. Um, kind of wish it could have came fully charged, but you know, hey, beggars can be choosers. So we're gonna let that charge a little bit. I had myself, I had, was gonna film changing these tires out, wheels and tires. Clearly, I did not press film, so my apologies. New move on my part. Um, pretty simple. I believe that's a seven millimeter hex. Uh, pretty odd size. Um, but my buddy of mine is looking into getting a maybe a conversion kit for some a little bit bigger size, a little more common, different different types of wheels you can buy. So we'll see how it comes on that. <clears throat> Anyways, I'll be back shortly, hopefully shortly, depending on how long it takes for this to charge. Do a little rip. So I guess we'll be seeing then. What's up, guys? So we're out here in my carport. Give this thing a little bit of a rip, I believe we're on. Yes, we are. Just do a little rip, nothing super crazy. We'll have a whole lot of room here. Um, me and a buddy of mine, we're gonna get together and do a little tandem drifting here in a couple of days. Let's see if I can set this up right here. Yeah. Oh yeah, that'll, that'll work. All right, let's see what we can do, guys. Let's see if we can get any drifts in. Things low oh yeah so like I said this controller three settings 25% 50 100% power oh sorry here I believe that might be 100% 75 and 25 vice versa I want to put on 100% because I'm gonna send it oh yeah
man, this thing feels super smooth. We can get a little better filming going on here. Do a little trick, maybe. Reset this. Let's do. Let's do that right there. So clearly there's going to be some learning that needs to be done for me. I've never really driven a drift car very much, but a couple times. Um, so we're going to do some learning on this. I'm going to learn how to drive it. Um, as you can tell, not very good at driving it. Um, can't hold a line for nothing. That's not the car's fault. My fault as a driver. Um, but I do have some things planned for this. Super cool stuff once I get to learn to drive it. Uh, we're going to take it to some tandem drifts, carpet. Indoor carpet drifting tandems with my buddy of mine that has the same one. Um, his is going to have some pretty sweet upgrades. Hopefully, I can get some upgrades for mine done pretty soon. Um, like I said last, uh, in the video, earlier in the video, um, aluminum control arms, aluminum shock towers, bigger brush motor. Um, going to change out the tie rods here. Um, I'm excited, guys. I hope you guys are excited, too. Like I said, I'm going to learn to drive it. I promise. Um, I'm not that bad of a driver. I just hardly ever drive drift cars. Um, it's also probably not the best surface. It's also freezing cold. I'm on my lunch break. Doing a little filming. Getting some ripping for you guys. So, hope you guys like it. Um, I mean, if you feel like this video is decent, like and subscribe maybe. Uh, also, I'm going to link my Patreon down below. Also going to link exactly where I got this car. If you guys want to get one, I'll leave the link down below. Um, like I said, you get, if you guys want to see anything you want me to review, get... Um, shoot me a message uh, leave some comments down below give me some critiques i promise i'm going to take criticism um pretty well i need to enunciate a little better this is my very first youtube channel very first couple of views i've ever done before so give me a little slack but you know critique me give me some pointers other guys that have been doing this a little longer than i have but awesome guys appreciate you guys for watching and we'll see you next time